you know, life just hasn't worked out the way I thought it would. Well, I know a little bit about that. It's hard to believe, you know, <laughs> I mean. I take it you're not married either? No, no. Divorced? Mm, well, something like that. I'm really happy here. Well, you should be, it's beautiful. <laughs> Are you separated? Because I noticed your ring. I'm just curious. Yeah. My wife died. But... I'm so sorry. Nothing I to do, be sorry here about. I am asking you. <laughs> Nothing to be sorry about. It was a long time ago, and I don't—I—I I, I don't even know why I wear the ring, but I haven't been able to take it off. Sorry. All right, well, I better get going. Uh, yeah, um, I guess. Do you know your way to... home? Um, that way? Yeah. OK, well, be safe. Grace. Yeah. Is it crazy to, I mean, I'd like to see you again. Could I do that? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like a kid. <laughs> there you go. Nice, I like it. Keep moving, move the feet. Good, get the hands up. What's this? <sighs> Open it Keep working. A hot dog? Can you just eat it? Nice. Mm. That's pretty good. When do you think I could get back in the ring? Oh, I don't know. It depends. Nice. All right. Depends on what? A lot of things. You're injured. You know, separated shoulder is not a simple thing. It's tough to know when, but it's going to be a couple of months anyway. All right, take a break, guys. Good work. Couple of months. You're messing with me, right? No, man. You gotta get back in shape. You gotta get back on the road, back in the ring, do some rounds. Look, you gotta get gotta, your power back. I ain't gotta back. do shit, man. Why do you want to box? So that people don't fuck with me. Wow. Where have I heard that before? Mr. Dougherty was the most outspoken. Unwavering support for the Republican Party for the suppression of this rebellion. Not for me. Not for me. I am for the union and not for any Republican president. My friend, it is merely a matter of semantics. Oh, listen here. I am no adherent of Lincoln. I opposed his election to the last, and I feel no partisan interest in the success of his administration. But I deem it a duty a holy duty to do all I can to sustain my country in this war on this hideous and hellborn rebellion. I go to my grandma's. She's complaining about her car. I come home to the wife. She's bitching about her douchebag sister. At 16, my grandmother was working in a button factory. Six miles she walked to work every day and back, rain or shine, Raised 15 kids, nursed my grandfather through lupus, and lived in 98. God bless her. You know, she couldn't read much or write, but that's the smartest lady you'll ever fucking meet. Yo, shit for brains, you gonna get the door or what? Oh, I'm sorry, boss. What the fuck am I paying you for? When my mom died, I inherited her annuity. And the payments were nice, but since I really didn't need them, it was like funny money. Then my wife's mother got Alzheimer's, and we made the difficult decision to move from our home in Arizona back to Minneapolis to give her the care she needed. Without jobs waiting for us, I turned to J.G. Wentworth. Could they convert the payments from my mother's annuity into a lump sum of cash to help finance the transition? They could. And the move back wasn't easy, but 
It would have been a heck of a lot harder without J.G. Wentworth. I know you have had great difficulty in your life. But I also know you are a good girl. And you will be rewarded. You're a princess. And someday you will be a queen.